guys, my name is Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the bookshelf scavenger hunt. Uh, this is a tag, nobody tagged me in it, it just looked like a bit of fun. Um, I'm rocking a little bit of a cold today and my head's feeling quite woozy, so I thought it'd be fun to do a very chill video that didn't require me to think too much. The idea behind this tag is that you're given a bunch of prompts and you have to find books off your shelves that fit that prompt and you kind of get like a point for every one that you manage to do. So the first prompt is find a book that starts with an N. Okay, I've not looked at any of these in advance, so this can be good fun. N, 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 oh, okay. Nice and simple, which just behind me, we have Nosferatu, or Nosferatu, if you are American. This is by Joe Hill. It is a wonderful, creepy horror, um, which focuses on the idea of Christmas land. It's fantastic. Find a book that is mostly brown on the cover. My entire collection of J.R.R. Tolkien ones. I guess uh, The Return of the King is the most brown one that is just there. These are my gorgeous leather bound editions. Um, I'm currently listening to The Fellowship of Rings on audiobook and listen to The Hobbit as a child, and I've not read the other two yet. But yes, this is my beautiful collection. They are tiny and gorgeous, and they are brown. Find a book that's based on a true story. Find a book that's based on a true story. Uh, okay. I have this one. Um, this is The Great Leader and the Fighter Pilot Escaping tyr Tyranny in North Korea. So this is obviously based on the reality of North Korea with the fictional element of this fighter pilot but there are rumours that it is roughly based on truth. It's one of those kind of like faction books where serious elements of it are true but then certain liberties have been taken. Find a multiple perspective book. Is multiple more than two? We're going to go with more than two. Oh that's easy. Boom! Any of the George R.R. Martins have multiple, multiple perspectives. Each chapter has a slightly different person and each book follows a different collection of characters depending on what's relevant to the story. So this is the easiest one. But honestly, any of the fantasy on my shelves probably would count. Find, uh, question five is find a book you read last year. That should be easy. I read like 129 of them. I definitely read The Girl in the Tower last year. This was one of my uh, favourite books of last year, this series. It's her Winter Night trilogy and I've got book three on my shelves and I really need to get to it. This is book two. The hardback shelf is like directly behind me so it's so easy to just turn and be like, that one! Find the most recent book that you bought. I know exactly what they are. I know there's four of them. Where have they been put? I was having a bit of a bad day last week and I nipped into all stones and bought myself some cheeky little prezzies. So these are the four newest additions to my shelves. I've got The Art of Rivalry by Sebastian Smee. This is uh, looking at some of the classic rivalries in modern art. I've got The Corset by Laura Purcell, which is a historical fiction slash thriller. I've got The Psychology of Time Travel by Kate what? Mas Masca Mascarellas? Sorry. I didn't look at any of these beforehand. This is a sci-fi but is specifically focused on women which is very cool. And then I have The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. This is up for the Women's uh, Fiction Prize and this is a Greek, this is a retelling of the Greek myth of um, like Troy, specifically focusing on Helen of Troy. So those are the four that I bought. Okay, 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 okay. What else we get? What else we get for you? So far we're doing really well. We're doing six for six. Uh, find a book cover you don't like is question seven. Book cover I don't like. So I read Boy Erased earlier this year and this is the movie cover that I really don't like. Um, I think it's very bland and generic. I much prefer the original cover which is um, kind of blue and has more of like a doodly kind of vibe to it and that was one that I really wanted but the shop only had this one and I hadn't seen it physically in stores before so I really just wanted to grab it but I'm not a fan of this cover. Find a retelling. Oh easy. Easy. Easy breezy cover girl. I say easy I've now lost it. Um. Lost Boy by Christina Henry. This is a retelling of Peter Pan looking at things before Wendy turns up and it's basically Peter Pan meets um, uh, Lord of the Flies. Very interesting, very gruesome, very gory, really fun way. Definitely check her out. Find a book that's also a film. Water for Elephants is a absolutely lovely book and also a really lovely film. It's got Robert Patterson and um, Reese Witherspoon's in it. It's a story about um, set in the 1920s with a circus and is really, really good fun. 10 is find a book that is written this year and this is going to be a struggle on my shelves. Um, where is it? The only one that I can guarantee is Daisy Jones and the Six. It's relatively early in the year. It's only towards the beginning of May right now. This was published in February. Sorry, that was my phone going off. This was published in February. Um, I don't generally buy new releases. This is pretty much the only book that I can think of that is definitely published this year. Maybe some of these other books 
happen to have been published this year and I've picked them up but honestly I tend to buy paperbacks which means that there's always a bit of a gap in publishing and I don't generally buy new releases I'm not a crazy new releases person and I definitely don't like pre-order books or like anticipate release dates or anything like that so this is the only book that I think would definitely count for that. Eleven is find a non-fiction book and I literally have an entire shelf several shelves now it's now now two shelves dedicated to non-fiction but I'll grab you one anyway never mentioned before on this channel but this is Dunkirk which is the book that ties in with the movie this is looking at the history behind the major motion picture and includes several chapters on the decisions that the directors and various people working on the film um, had to make based on how they wanted to portray the story it's by Joshua Levin it includes interviews with the director Christopher Nolan and various people like that and it's very very interesting both as a historical book looking at a very intense time of the world's history but also a really interesting look at how you make movies so very good 12 is find a book that you have told others to read so i've got station 11 in my hands here by emily st john mandel this is one of my all-time favorite books it gets mentioned on this channel all the time especially in my first few videos i went through a phase where i mentioned this like in about seven or eight videos in a row this is absolutely wonderful it is relatively big on booktube a lot of people have heard of it but it's dystopian fiction and it is truly truly gorgeous and tragically my partner andy hates it it's fine 11 no 13 13 is find a book with a tree on the cover tree what do i have that has a tree on the cover this one's so hard haha uh it is the winter of the witch by Catherine arden this is book three of the winter night trilogy you saw book two earlier and there are two lovely trees one blue one red Ooh, symbolism must mean something dun 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 very exciting but yes so this has trees on cover 14 is find a book where the author's name is the same as yours whether that be first name or last name so we're looking for emma wright fuck i've got a book called emma because i've got the jane austen book but i don't think that counts because it's the author specifically i may have to cheat on this and look at my goodreads is that cheating because there's no guarantee i have that book on my shelf anymore this tea I'm drinking right now is from a company called uh, Bird and Blend and it's their tea that is um, it's called Kung Flu Fighter and it's eucalyptus and echinacea and it is fucking amazing if you have like a bit of a cold. Um, I'll link their site down below. This is not sponsored in the slightest, I've only just found their tea and I absolutely love it and I think loads of their teas are amazing so I'll link it down below. You should totally check it out if you're a tea person because tea be the boss. According to my Goodreads, I can confirm I neither have anybody called Emma nor anybody called Wright on my bookshelves, which seems utterly baffling given how common both those names are. Honestly, really no? I can't think of anybody either, so we're going to officially count that as my first one that I can't do. Question 15 is find a book that you've read more than once. Oh, easy. Easy. Say easy. Feck it's funny. Seasons of the Witch by Natasha Mustert might be one of my all-time favourite most read books ever. It is a absolutely glorious magical realism thriller that focuses on um, a guy who has mild psychic powers and these two very mysterious women and a missing person. And it's very, very exciting. Deals with memory, witchcraft, memory palaces and all things good and fun. And it's wonderful. 16 is find a book that you didn't finish. This could be hard actually because... Oh, no, I know. So I've just very recently done an unhaul and got rid of a lot of books that I have not finished and don't intend to finish. But I didn't technically finish Wuthering Heights. Um, I was supposed to read it at school and I read part of it but not the full thing. So I now do have my own copy and my intention is to try and read it at some point this year. To kind of tick it off my list but technically this is a book that I did DNF. There are so many things on this scavenger hunt. I didn't realise this was this long. Uh, the next one is find a book with a king in it. So not a king in the title, a king in the book. Um, oh! Ha ha! The Raven Boys! I very, very recently read this one, and they're looking for a lost Welsh king. This is the thing, the main characters are looking for a lost Welsh king. I can't remember the king's name. It doesn't matter. But there's definitely a king in it, because the last book is called The Raven King, or maybe that's Blue Lily, but one of the books in the, in the chordology is called The Raven King, so presumably they do find him at some point. Was his name Callahan? Isn't that the lawyer from Legally Blonde? Who knows anymore? Find a book that's purple with its dust jacket off. Oh, I have so few hardback. Oh, oh, oh. Please be purple. Please be purple. Please be purple. Please be purple. What? Why are you red? That's not helpful. All of these 
the black or red? Ah, thick. I got nothing for you. Absolutely nothing. So that's the second one that I've missed out. 19 is find a book you will read by the end of the year. And this is apparently the final prompt. By the end of the year, what am I definitely going to have read? Well, I guess, no, I've already used that book today already. It's a bit, bit of a beast, but I definitely would have read Remo by Walter Moers by the end of this year. This is book two in his world of Zamonia. I have been looking for this book since I was a child, basically. It's very difficult to get a, a hold of them in the UK. Um, I know that Amazon occasionally sells them, but I really wanted to see it in person. And I finally found it in the Gower Street, um, the Waterstones Gower Street. And it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. So this is going to be, uh, I'm reading mainly my eBooks for May, but this is like book number one for June. Very excited. And that's pretty much it. So I did pretty well. There were 19, 19 questions. That's not a round number. That's really irritating. Should have been 20 of them. There were 19 and I got 17 out of 19, which I think is pretty good. The ones that I couldn't find was uh, one that shares my name, nor one with a purple um, kind of cover outside of its dust jacket, um, which is not really surprising either of those. But yes, so I am very proud and woohoo. Uh, yeah, I tag anybody who wants to do this, it's absolutely fine, anyone can give it a go, and I will see you guys soon, have a wonderful reading week, and I'll chat to you soon. Bye!